Hi guys, Miss Skyer here. Hopefully you guys had an awesome spring break. You were able to get a lot of rest, relaxation, recreation, all of those wonderful R words. And your brains are raring to go for some more math. I know I am, I know Logan is, I know our man Hal is as well. <laughs> so let's dive in. Today we're gonna to be talking about markups. So it's kind of the reverse of the last lesson that we did where we talked about discounts. So discounts, as you remember on Logan's suit, it was $500, it was discounted 20%. He got it for 400 bucks. Markups are a little bit of a change. So markups are when something becomes more expensive than it originally was. If you want a reminder on last time's lesson about discounts, go ahead and click on the link in the description below this video. But for right now, we're gonna move on with today's objective. So our objective is, I can find the markup of a product using the percent equation. So now, just remember what that percent equation was from last time, and we're going to be writing it down in our notes in just a second, but it was A equals P times W, or part of the whole equals percent times the whole. So right now, we're going to focus on um, kind of thinking of a situation that would require us to know this. Well, Logan over here decides he needs to make a couple of bucks, so he decides to go ahead and buy a bike in the Marvel Universe for 70 bucks. And he's like, hmm, I think things in the DC Universe probably run a little more expensive than things in the Marvel Universe, so I'm gonna hit up Hal to go ahead and buy this bike for me for, let's see, how about 20% more than I bought it for? So, hmm, let's see how much Logan marked this bike up for. So again, our percent equation a equals P times W, so that's part of the whole. This is the percent, and this is the whole. So again, we're trying to find out part of the whole. Logan is gonna buy a bike for 70 bucks, that's the whole price. He's gonna mark it up for 20%. So remembering um, that when we deal with 20% in the math world, or I'm sorry, in um, an equation, we're wanting to use the decimal version of the percent. So 20%, how do we convert that to a decimal? We drop that percent sign, we have the number 20, we've got our invisible decimal there, we move it over two times, and now we know that 20% is equal to 20 hundredths or two tenths. So right now we've got 20% of our whole 70. So remembering of in math means to multiply. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply 70 and 0.2 or two tenths or 20 hundredths. So we can do that on the side of our paper right here and I like to line it up where the number with the most digits is on the top because we don't have to line up our decimals when we multiply. So we're gonna multiply by 70 here. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times two is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Placeholder. So now we multiply all three of those numbers by the second digit here. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times two is 14. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So then we're going to go ahead and add all of that up. 0, 0, 0 plus 4 is 4, and 1. And we've got two values behind the decimal in the problem. So we're going to go ahead and put two values behind the decimal in the answer. So here we just discovered that 20% of 70 is 14. So the part of our whole is 14. Now, Logan's not going to discount the bike by 20%. He's going to mark up the cost of the bike by 20%. So he's gonna sell it to Hal over here for $70, the price Logan bought the bike for, plus 20%, which is $14. And turns out he's gonna try and see if Logan will buy, the, or sorry, Hal will buy this 
bike for $84. So Logan will pocket $14 of change. We'll see if how it goes for it, but uh, Logan's pretty persuasive. <laughs> so I bet he does. So we'll go ahead and finish this out by labeling this. The markup price is $84. And that should complete your notes and your ISN. You, this should set you up to be able to handle some of the markup problems that will be thrown at you and um, have fun with that.